Hello, and welcome to our in-depth exploration of the OLA conversion process. Today, we'll discuss the prerequisites and demonstrate the process to convert each type of SL1 architecture, all-in-one, HA, and DR installations, from Oracle 7 to the Oracle 8 OS. Let's start with the reason the conversion is being done. As part of the Steinitz Logic 12.1 Golden Gate release, the SL1 platform operating system is being upgraded to Oracle Linux 8 OL8. All new SL1 12.1.0 or later deployments from the 12.1.0 ISO file will install the OL8 operating system and do not require any additional conversion activities. However, existing SL1 customers upgrading from an earlier release line such as SL1 version 11.2 or 11.3, will need to complete the OL8 operating system conversion. The steps of the conversion process are covered in this video. Before we start the conversion process, let's review the prerequisites to complete the conversion. The primary system should be healthy and meet current requirements for CPU, memory, and disk. The new secondary system has the same or greater specifications as the primary. Installed and patched to the same version of SL1 as the primary. No configuration besides patching, if needed, should be done to this new secondary system. Both primary and secondary systems must have a network interface that is in the same broadcast domain or subnet to use for the data transfer. This interface can be the primary network interface or a secondary one. If possible, a secondary network interface connected with a crossover cable is preferred. The recommended network interface speed is 10 gigs, with a minimum speed of 1 gig. For all-in-one and standalone database server systems, you must use a new separate system to be the destination. For HA, DR, or HA plus DR, you can use a new system, or you can reuse or reinstall one of the passive nodes in the cluster with Oracle Linux 8. To reuse or reinstall an existing passive node, you must shut down the system before starting phase one of the procedure. Once the conversion is completed, the system will be in a standalone DB configuration. If you started with an HADR configuration, you will be required to reconfigure the HADR cluster. Additionally, space considerations. When reinstalling an existing system with Oracle Linux 8 as the migration destination, keep in mind that partitioning layout and sizes have been altered in all 8. By default, SL1 systems reserve 5% space for emergency allocations. Typically, this reservation allows an OL8 system to have the same size physical disk as an OL7 system, which would allow for reinstallation onto the same size disk. In some cases, this reservation might have been used on the OL7 source system, and the OL8 destination will not have enough space for the migration to proceed. If this happens, there will be an error presented in phase two of the migration that indicates there is insufficient space to match disk sizes for the migration process. To check if the space is sufficient, on the OL7 source system, run the following command to see how much space is allocated to the slash data dot local slash EB logical volume. Take note of the number. On the OL8 destination system, run the following commands to see how much space is allocated to the slash data dot local slash EB logical volume and how much free space is in the volume group. Take note of these numbers. Add the numbers from step two and compare them to the number in step one. If the total from step two is greater than the number from step one, then you have sufficient space. If the total is the same or less, you will need to allocate more space to the OL8 destination system. Phone home collector considerations. When converting a system with phone home, be sure to consider how to maintain connectivity to the new system. Consider the following methods to ensure that phone home continues to function. Convert the phone home settings when prompted in the script. After the conversion is completed, Change the IP of the system or redirect NAT if you are using NAT, so that the new OL8 database answers the SSH connections of the OL7 source system. Add a second lower priority destination for the OL7 source system that has the IP of the Oracle Linux 8 destination system. When the conversion occurs, the source system is taken offline and the destination system is brought online. The phone home collectors will try the new destination and connect. Manually configure the OL8 system to assume the destination ID number of another phone home database. Now let's review the high-level overview of the OL8 conversion process. First, upgrade to SL1 12.11. Allow a week or more to confirm the upgrade does not reveal any issues in your environment. Next, convert the database server to Oracle Linux 8. 
allow a week or so to confirm the conversion of the central database does not reveal any issues in your environment. Lastly, convert data collectors and message collectors to Oracle Linux 8. Currently, the only supported conversion for collectors is to rebuild the collectors using the OL8 ISO. After you upgrade SDL1 to version 12.11, you will need to run the Oracle Linux 8 conversion script, Silo Migrate. This system administration script will be accessible from the command line. Phase 1. Prepare the primary OL7 system for data replication. SSH into the primary Oracle Linux 7 system and elevate to root using the command sudo s. Run the conversion script using the command silo migrate. Review the information from the script and press Y to confirm that you have a full backup and that you understand the risks of conversion. The script performs several pre-checks on the system to determine if there are known issues that will interfere with the conversion process. If any issues are encountered, the script will exit. If you encounter any issues, these must be resolved before trying to run the script again. If you require help, please open a case on support.sciencelogic.com. Review the feedback from phase one of the script and press Y to confirm that your system was detected correctly via an all-in-one HA or HADR configuration. Note, for an all-in-one system, you will be warned that you need to stop the SL1 services and MariaDB on the system for conversion. Enter the number listed next to the IP address on this system that will be used for the DRBD replication traffic. Enter the IP address of the new OL8 system. Confirm that you are ready to have the system services shut down and reconfigured for conversion. Answer yes to proceed and answer no if you wish to exit. After the system is reconfigured, it will resume operations. Phase 1 of the conversion is done. Phase 2. Prepare the secondary OL8 system for data replication. SSH into the secondary Oracle Linux 8 system and elevate to root. Run the conversion script. Enter an IP address for the primary Oracle Linux 7 system that is reachable by this system. This will connect to MariaDB and retrieve the conversion settings. Note, if the username and password in the local silo.conf cannot be used to connect to the primary system, you will be prompted again for the IP address and then a username and password. This username and password are for connecting to MariaDB. After a connection is established, the local silo.conf will be updated with the correct information to authenticate automatically. After it is connected, the script will retrieve the required information about the conversion and prompt to shut down services on this system to reconfigure it to receive the data. Confirm that you are ready to have the system services shut down and reconfigured for conversion. Type Y to proceed and answer in if you wish to exit. If you type Y, the system will reconfigure all the data to be migrated with DRBD from the primary OL7 system. Phase 2 of the conversion is complete and data will start replicating. The speed of the replication will depend on system utilization and network bandwidth. Phase 3. Wait for replication to complete. While waiting for the data replication process to finish, you can check the status by running the command DRBD ADM status on the primary OL7 system system. Review the output to see the percentage completed or the done value. Once the DRBD status shows the state of peer role, secondary replication, established peer disk, up-to-date phase 3 is complete. Phase 4. Gracefully demote the primary source system, OL7 system. SHH into the primary OL7 system and elevate to root using command sudo s. Run the conversion script using command silo migrate. The system will be checked for replication status and you will be prompted to proceed with halting the system if it detects replication is completed. Type Y to proceed and the system will gracefully halt. Wait for the system to halt. When it does, phase four of the conversion is complete. Phase five, gracefully promote the secondary system, OL8 system. SHH into the secondary OL8 system and elevate to root using command sudo s. Run the conversion script using command silo migrate. The system will be checked for replication status and you will be prompted to proceed with starting the system if it detects replication is completed. Type Y to proceed and the system will reconfigure and start all SL1 services. Wait for the system to restart and be accessible. 
When it does, phase five of the conversion is complete. After the conversion, validate the conversion, SHH into the secondary OL8 system and elevate to root using command sudo s. Run sudo license state to check if the system is licensed. If it is not, you must license the system. Run system status.sh and review the output for problems. run slash opt slash em7 slash backend slash collector underscore check dot py to check collector availability. Log into the SL1 user interface and make sure that the system is working as expected. Very important, for all conversion procedures, the destination system will be a single standalone system when you complete the conversion. High availability HAA Disaster Recovery DR, or Combined HA and DR systems will all be a standalone database server. After you complete the conversion to OL8 and you have verified that SL1 is working properly, you will need to re-ISO the other database servers using an ISO version 12.01 or newer for running HA or HADR. Once the systems are ISO'd and the SL1 version has been updated to match the new OL8 database server, you can implement HADR or HADR by following the procedures in the High Availability and Disaster Recovery Configuration section of the SL1 product documentation.